Hello everyone, it is Abraham here at SimGamer TV, and I got a new toy that I wanted to show you guys. I'm going to be incorporating this into my uh, Elite Dangerous game, and at some point I also want to incorporate it into my uh, into a, a virtual reality flight simulator recording. <clears throat> it's basically required for my virtual reality flight simulator stuff at this point because there are just some controls that I didn't have access to that I want to have better access to now. But anyway, we're going to configure this for some Elite Dangerous, but I want to show off what it is. It is... Um, the X keys, uh, getting some camera problems there. So it's the X keys uh, 24 pad key thing. Um, sells for around 125 bucks from Pi Engineering. Uh, Pi Engineering being the same company that <clears throat> did the uh, the rail driver control that I featured a long time ago for uh, Train Simulator 2016. Anyway, <clears throat> we have this X keys thing here, uh, which each of these keys is individually programmable. I can program, uh, it comes with included software, I can program the stuff on the keypad itself so it doesn't need any additional driver software other than the fact that uh, it's going to behave like a keyboard in this case. Uh, and I can put whatever input into any of these individual keys that I want to. And I can also program how each of these LEDs responds with that. So um, it also comes with some, let's see if get on the right camera here, uh, some feet on the bottom here so I can actually position it. So we're going to get into a little build here and actually get this set up for what I want to do for Elite Dangerous. Uh, just briefly, I want to make a, basically a horizontal control like this to go in between my two joysticks. And I'll have a big button um, for engaging the hyperdrive, a smaller button that's going to be too wide for engaging the uh, Super Cruise, and then I'll have some other controls that are <clears throat> just you know easy to find for me for controlling landing gear, lights, uh, and the cargo scoop, stuff like that. And I'll explain why all that's going to be the case later. So let's get into this build here. <clears throat> Comes with a little tool to pull out keys with. And the only thing uh, additional I need to use some of these extra stuff is um, just a pair of jeweler's clippers to pull out the certain pins. And then it has all these accessories. Well, it comes with a couple of them, but I bought an extra pack for about 10 bucks. And it has keys of various sizes. Here's a here's a 2x2. Two two. Um, here's a 1x2, basically giving you some lego-like um, building i also have various colors and various uh you know sample um, hard ones so we have blue keys right there we got red keys but i'm going to rely on the clear ones and let the leds do all the all the rest of the work so anyway as i said let's get into this build here i'll probably time lapse through this part but what i'm actually looking for are these guys. I need another cap for that. <clears throat> so these uh, keys come with what's called reglendable caps. And that just means very simply <clears throat> that I can pop the cap off into two parts and stick a custom sticker right there and then pop the cap back on and we're on our way. So uh, that's all I should need because my layout is going to be something like this. Big key Small key, big key, big key, big key. And I'm doing it that way so that uh, <clears throat> things are easy to find. I also bought a set of these um, key stoppers, which will be filling in the gaps in between all the stuff here. And that's why I'll need these, and you'll see it. me go to town on that in a bit. All right, so here's the final setup. Uh, actually set up <clears throat> in Elite Dangerous. Um, I've assigned... The, uh, I've assigned the keyboard keys to these things. I haven't gone to the menu yet, but I'll, I'll get that solved. But um, here's the basic setup. We've got a big square button right there, <clears throat> which turns red when I push it down, turns blue when I relieve, re re release it. I have the same thing on these other four keys. So I figure I'll do hyperspace, super cruise, landing gear, cargo bay, and lights <clears throat> to start off with. And I still have a few keys in here if I want to assign extra things. But the main thing is, I can reach over, I can be controlling stuff, I can be playing, I can reach over and feel for the right key that I want, and it'll, I'll get used to where it is um, without having to to visually look at it. Uh, and of course, I will go ahead and make custom little printed keycaps for these to have a little thing uh, to make it look kind of nicer, but other than that, <clears throat> we're just going to put it to use in the game. So hang tight while I get my settings done. Okay, so I've got the control all ready to go, it's fully defined. <clears throat> we are back here at Philophant Vision. We're going to, um, and we're flying in an orca. I don't know if I've recorded any episodes in my orca just yet. But we are going to head to the passenger lounge since we have um, <clears throat> a luxury passenger guy. 
or room for luxury passengers, I should say, and see what passenger missions we can find to get this done. 1.3 million easy sightseeing adventure. Well, ooh, here we go. Let's transport someone. And they require luxury. They probably require first class, but that's down to. <clears throat> All right. Other than that, we are ready to depart. So let's go ahead and pull up our transactions. Plot our course. All set. And we are ready to launch. So previously I had my landing gear and stuff set down here. Uh, I want to re repurpose these buttons for other things. I want to have my chaff and flare and stuff available right here, which was what I was using for Super Cruise before. Uh, so that's kind of why I wanted to get some additional control surface out there. Ship released. Watch for oncoming traffic when passing through the airlock. And my instinct is to go to this for the landing gear, but that is not the case anymore. My landing gear is now gear here. Is Jarnu Janharu is just on this side of the planet. So as soon as we get clearance to get out of here. And we can test out our buttons here. We've got landing gear up down, cargo scoop up down, lights on off. It's all working great. We're all clear. Push the big hyperspace button. And we are flying on the commander's. Eh, if you can get him my destination. Yeah, sure. Next 26 minutes. Easily done. It's got to fly to Midgley Port without crashing into this star it's over there. While we're taking a couple minutes to head over to Midgley, um, <clears throat> this uh, this keypad is basically one uh, suggested implementation of what you can do with uh, the the programmable chip available from Pi Engineering. You can get it for thirty-five bucks or so, maybe forty bucks. <clears throat> I can't remember exactly, but it's a little chip that you can plug in your USB port, and it's fully programmable, just like this. But it's it's just the uh, the chip with a little connector on it. And hello. And if you can connect whatever you want to the pins on the control board to set up whatever controls you want to set up. Switches, joysticks, potentiometers, whatever you feel would be useful. You can set that up and make yourself a totally custom control panel for really simply this X key setup. <clears throat> they have uh, this is the smallest uh, 2D board they have. They have 2D boards of various sizes. They also have these 1D long bars, which are I think you can get them in 4 key, 8 key, and 16 key configurations. So you can actually set up a you know a set of uh, customized keys pretty pretty easily. A sort of a control bar. I went for the small grid because it offers me more more flexibility as far as the layouts and stuff that I want to. I really like how this turned out. We're just gonna pop over here to Midgley Port, get this guy dropped off, <clears throat> make a little bit of quick money, and uh, maybe we'll see if there's any other passengers to be had for a slightly longer mission. Ever since the Commander's update, the passenger um, missions have been much more rewarding. Probably about twice as lucrative as previously, which is good because <clears throat> they were a little underpriced considering all the equipment you have to buy. While it is true, you don't have to invest anything in, say, the uh, initial outlay for the cargo. 
These passenger missions, especially the multi-million dollar ones, are multiple stops before you can uh, even um, before you get paid. And it's multiple stops of your cargo being being tied up hundreds of light years of distance. We are in glide on our way to Midgley Port here. Well, we're on a new control setup. <clears throat> I really dig it. Use some pretty innocuous keys like I think it was B and M and J, K and L. All right. Got a little ways to fly before we can contact them for clearance to land. Scout Cruiser, Echo Tango Hotel. Docking reservations are in operation at this station. Access is by request only. Roger that. Requesting access. Pad zero one, Roger, Dodger. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and fly through the city here. The buildings are so dark. Warning, Commander. Speed restrictions are in place at this facility. Yeah, yeah, okay. And here we go. Let's go ahead and just turn it over. Landing gear. You notice I put G in my uh, chat there because. Landing gear deployed. Uh, so this is uh, running in hardware mode. This little extra control that I have is running in hardware mode. It is emulating the keyboard exactly. So as far as my system and my games and everything are concerned, I have two keyboards plugged in. Which means I don't need any, you know, other than driver that's installed for the software itself, I don't need any additional software to actually use it. You may disembark when ready. Welcome to our port, Commander. <clears throat> Thank you, Tower Control. Let's go ahead and refuel. Get our passenger lounge guy dropped off. Transport Sarah Wood for about a half million credits. <clears throat> oh, more like a quarter million credits. And there we have it. Use of the new uh, thing. Ew, here we go. It's right back to Chaplinton for nearly a million, so that makes this trip quite worth it. Let's run some singles. Uh, hostile ships may be sent against you. Okay, fine. I don't have the capacity for them. First class passenger back to Chaplinton. Let's see what else we got. Um. This guy wants a one-way trip to the Banar uh, Visitor Beacon. How far away is that? 64 light years? Economy? Yeah. He's going to take up the whole thing, though. We'll put him in business class. Nope. All right, we'll do the long one first. We're all filled up. Transactions. Anvy wants to go on a sightseeing adventure, so we'll go ahead and take this one really quick. It's only a couple of hops. Three, it looks like. And that gives us a chance to use this control a little bit more before I stop recording. Expedite climb to exit 
getting ready for a hyperspace to Jingo. We're carrying an illegal passenger. Okay, well, let's not get scanned. You are clear of the port. Stay safe, Commander. Big button for hyperspace. <clears throat> I didn't even... I didn't even check to see what was going on with this passenger. My ship is going to get destroyed. That's other things I can configure is one of these buttons can be for silent running, you know, there's just a lot of things that I can do and then I have some additional keys. Basically, <clears throat> all these different keys available. All right, so here we come back to Janaru. Um, thankfully, immediately ports down on a planet, which means we're less likely to get scanned. Just like going to outposts, because they tend to be lower traffic, your chances of being scanned your way down are actually fairly low. Out of glide, eight and a half kilometers from target, which means we can pop. Right in and request for docking. It's coming nice and fast. Hot and fast landing, hopefully, will avoid any scans. Almost there. Scan free. Excellent! million credits for a, what was that, 120 light year round trip. And then we got this one other thing to do, which is to go back to Shap Linton, where we started that high tech system. <clears throat> one jump away. Got rid of the illegal guy. Coupler disengaged. Clear for departure. It's obviously not illegal him for, for him to move around uh, the ground. One more, he was restricted from flight for some reason. Um, All clear. Stay safe, Commander. This is we're not mass locked. We'll kick on Super Cruise. And we will work on getting ourselves clear of this planet. Super cruise button, go. So these are so far been highly responsive keys. with established docking procedures. Permission authorized. Adjust heading for approach to pad 4-0. I'm kind of surprised I'm not allied with these guys yet. Full power to shields as we go in the toaster. And there is another commander in the area. So hello commander whoever you are. You are on SimGamer TV. 40, 40. There it is. 1,000 meters from touchdown. A little bit of down thrust. Whoops. Shift into reverse.
And there we have it. <clears throat> Landing complete. Clear to disembark. Welcome to our starboard, Commander. Get ourselves all refueled. And then to the passenger lounge. Where we could drop off this other passenger. I'm really debating whether or not I want to go ahead and upgrade this to a Type 9 Heavy just yet. So, you know, around 2 million credits made in that little bit of time. That's not too bad. Um, I know I could have done better if I had taken one of these longer missions like this sightseeing adventure. Uh, it's 3.3 million for two stops. That's actually really well worth, really worth it. <clears throat> so with our passengers dropped off and our money made, um, we are ready to call it a day. And that's going to be it for this episode. I hope you liked this new control uh, setup here. Like I said, it's fully customizable. You saw in the thing how I was able to get that done really quick. Um, made it super easy to customize this keypad. And I can just set it to where, like I said, it uh, lights up however I want to when I'm using it. <clears throat> I can customize the configuration to have a watcher. They have much different sizes. And I'll make sure to include the links in the description below. So definitely leave your comments about what you thought about the uh, new setup um, and leave a like, let your friends know, and add your subscription if you want to see more. Until next time, talk to you later. Goodbye.